Jem Beckler, and Jim Brandstatter is brought to you by General Motors, where the vision is paying off in product excellence. By Mr. Goodrich. No one knows your GM car better than Mr. Goodrich. No one. By Buick and your Buick dealer. The Great American Road belongs to Buick. By the financial professionals at Payne Weber. By Unisys. Better information, better decisions. And by Budweiser, proud sponsor of the 1988 U.S. Olympic team. This Bud's for you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Michigan Replay, the final of the Big Ten opener against Wisconsin. Michigan 62, Wisconsin 14. Well, finally, you won one big. <laughs> well, there wasn't any question about that. When you score on the first play that you run, Jim, I think that's going to be an indication <laughs> of things to come. It was all-out total domination, and I think a little surprising to you as well. Well, they had played so well defensively against uh, Miami. They had held Miami to really one offensive touchdown and lost 23-3. to three. And then, uh, you know, we felt we might have trouble uh, moving on him. But I think the, uh, the underlying reason for the, for the points was that we were the first uh, rushing team that they had played, a team that likes to run the football. And I don't think they were quite ready for that. Well, you certainly ran it, and the opening play proved what was going to be the story all day. You just blocked them off the ball well. Right, right. Well, it was that kind of a game. This was uh, a formation to the sideline. This is a simple tackle trap. Uh, there are three men, really, there that had a shot at him, but I think they underestimated how fast Tony is, and he just ran away from them. And we're on top seven to nothing, Jim. And, uh, you know, we kicked to them to start the game, got him stopped, got the field position, and he went 55 on the first one. And come back with a big third down, and they're able to throw the ball. This off. is a third and 20. He went for a long one down here to Greg McMurtry's. Looked to me like a simultaneous catch, which, of course, goes to the offense. And then we come right back with a trap play up the middle. Chris Horn, the fullback, goes in standing up, and it's 14 to nothing. As you say, do you think Wisconsin is a team that comes off the ball as hard as you guys against with the run? Well, I think uh, that might have been the reason. You know, they uh, they run an option attack themselves, and uh, here's a fine interception by Beta Murray that gives us field position again. We have field position in the first half almost uh, all afternoon. Draw play, Tony hits up the middle and gets good yardage down to the five-yard line. He's just getting better and better week to week. Well, he didn't play very much. I think he only played 17 minutes and ran the ball 10 times. And he had something like 177 yards and three touchdowns. And, uh, but um, I think that he's coming along very well. And uh, he's a very fine back. And, but we had uh, great production from some of our other people, too. Here's the uh, defense once again gets a tip ball, and J.J. Grant intercepts it for us. We're down on their 42 right now. Um, on first down, uh, we come out and throw a pass over the middle. Uh, he hits Johnny Colasar uh, uh, on an in route, and we're down in there ready to score again. One of the things you said you were going to have to do against Wisconsin because you thought they'd be so tough against the run was to throw the ball. Well, that's true, and I hate to admit that, but uh, really, uh, here he hits the post cut to uh, Craig McMurphy for a touchdown, and now early in the second period, Jim, 28 0. Um, I think I miscalculated there a little, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it'd be a little harder. Our defense played well. Mark Mesner with a big play there. And, um, I think they played well. They they moved the ball on our second unit quite a bit. Here's Tony breaking away again, you know, and they overshift that defense, and there's only one cornerback on there and misses the tackle, and you got a back of speed. Uh, you run the risk of a big play, and that's what happened. Tony Bulls now midway second quarter, 35 nothing, well over 100 yards. And uh, yeah, he really had all, almost was, all his yardage in the first half. The game was almost over. And while they hurt you early with the option, you were able to figure right. out. Right, Trip Wellborn there, the strong safety, made a very fine play on the option play. Demetrius Brown now in it, the quarterback on third and five. And uh, uh, I thought uh, uh, Demetrius came in here. Here they came with a blitz, and we came and picked the blitz up. Came right down and stuck the ball into Johnny Colasar for a big first down on a third down situation. Um, I was impressed with his performance in this drive. Here he goes back on the final play, comes right down the middle to Derek Walker, uh, the tight end for a touchdown, and we go in at halftime 42 to nothing. One of the things that you've always, at least through the years I've known you, is that you go in at halftime with a big lead like that, sometimes you're not 
real happy. I mean, you'd like it to be tighter, I think. I know you're <laughs> delighted with the lead, but I think you'd like it to be tighter. Tim, I've been in these games before. I mean, <laughs> fortunately. Uh, but I want you to know, the one thing that happens, and it happens invariably. And, this is... and it happened in this game. You go out second half, and it's a lethargic game. <laughs> the only thing that really made it decent for us is that we... We didn't play our regulars. I mean, we took them out, and uh, so we had a lot of fun watching other guys play. Well, you got 20 in the second half to put it away, and don't go away, everybody. That second half scoring barrage continues. That's next when Michigan Replay continues. We uh, had a good game today. Um, came out played real hard. We had a good, good start. Our goal was to get a good start, so that's what we came out to do is get a good start of this team. We just had this little play because the defense kind of shifted over us. So every time we stem, they shift. And um, like I said, our offensive line did a hell of a job today again. One thing I could do is just hit the hole, and there I was, wide open. More than 50% of all business PCs don't communicate. If your computers could talk, you'd get information that makes a competitive difference. Call Unisys. Better information, better decisions. America's body shops are being flooded with imitation parts. Doors, hoods, fenders. So how do you protect yourself? Ask to see your repair order before insurance work begins. Make sure it specifies genuine GM parts. Parts designed to meet GM standards for fit, finish, and corrosion protection. Now, even if insurance is paying the bill, it's still your car and still your choice. Insist on genuine General Motors parts. At General Motors, a new partnership is taking shape. Hey, how'd it go on the new job, son? Not bad. Yeah, we're learning a lot about computers and stuff. You know, they, they asked me to a meeting today. They asked the union. Yeah. It's a meeting on how we can improve quality. And well, they want to know what I thought. It's not like it was when I was on the line. You know, I had a pretty good idea. At GM, the partnership is working. The vision is paying off. Somewhere. Right now. There's a clean... Ice cold. Beachwood Age Budweiser. With your name on it. To stay competitive, your company must increase productivity at least 10% a year. Without the right computer system, you'll never have a chance. Call Unisys. Better information, better decisions. It's like they say, uh, no good team is a good team without a good defense. And that's what Michigan is all about. As far, you know, the defense is um, something we're really working hard on. We're really busting our butt. We want to get to the Rose Bowl again. We want to, I guess, shall we say, sell uh, debt. If we want things, we're going to go after them. We're going to go after them 110%. And that's what Michigan's defense is all about. And we're making an effort for it this year, especially this year. Well, the defense certainly played well against uh, Wisconsin, and Brent White was a big part of that. But I know one of the key things for you when you come out at halftime with a big lead, the first possession, you get your first team guys in there and you want them to be intense and get going. And it happened in this it game. It happened. They, they drove the ball right down and scored. And uh, that's the end of the game, really. And then we took them all out. And you pretty much kept it on the ground in that first drive. Right. Um, except for here, this is a bootleg pass. Um, uh, they're throwing extremely well to Callaway from um, uh, Michael Taylor. Here's another third down 10 situation. Michael goes back to pass, scrambles around here a little bit, does some nice running, made one tragic mistake, didn't get that second hand over the ball and fumbled it. He will hear about that. Fortunately, we recovered. Uh, Tracy Williams was playing tailback on this ball club and doing a great job of running. Got well over 100 yards himself. Third down and goal, Michael takes the option play and dives in for the score. 48 nothing third quarter as you said ball game for the most part it's over you have an opportunity now to look at some kids that's right we have got a lot of second third unit guys in there and we played everybody that we took except uh, two freshmen and so but it turned out very well here uh, they start to move on this group a little bit 
uh, hit a pass and get down into scoring, fourth down and two. Um, the young freshman quarterback, Crawford, does a good job of keeping the ball on the option for a first down. Uh, so they're they're doing a good job of moving the ball. Big Hartley, the big powerful back, goes in for the touchdown to make it 48 to seven. Now you you get upset about that, even though the game's yeah, out of hand. You yeah, don't. I know. Now you, <laughs> yeah. Tell here, me. About here it. we tip the pitch there, and uh, and uh, Michael Evans, our, uh, our freshman defensive tackle, intercepted the ball. This is the first play uh, for Wilbur Odom in his college career, and he calls a pass play and hits Paul Yokish for a first down. Dan Yokish. That's what I said, Dan Yokish. said Paul Yokish. <laughs> Here's a trap up the <laughs> middle again, did I? Yes. Well, I had Dan, too. Yeah, you, know? you got both of them. <laughs> I had both those guys. I made it 55-7 to seven when Leroy Horde on a trap play went up the middle for a touchdown. Odom's in again, and he showed a good arm. Well, he's got a good arm. He's a good thrower. Third and five, he hits uh, Dan Yokish again. And uh, Jokic was really our leading receiver. Caught four passes and did a real nice job for us. Here he's uh, scrambling once again. Hits Jokic here uh, for a first down. There was also a roughing the passer penalty on that. So we're down in there close, and Allen Jefferson finds a big hole and scores. Good to see Allen Jefferson back in. He's had some leg problems. Right, he's had some leg. This is really his first chance to play. And uh, we wanted to get a chance to work in. Both he and Tracy Williams did a good job. Gives you three real good, healthy running backs. I think so, and that's important. Here they got the tight end in behind my cornerback, and uh, that big play is going to take them down there to get another touchdown. And uh, the freshman quarterback sneaks in, and he's pretty well excited with his first college touchdown. And, and uh, that's the game. 62 to 14, the final. Now, after the game, you talked about it, and you said and cautioned a lot of people don't think that we're any superpower by what was done on that field Saturday. No, I don't think so. I, I, I think Wisconsin's a little undermanned. Uh, we had better players than they did. Um, I think that game really means nothing. What it means is we have one game in the win column, but I'm afraid there are a lot of teams that are going to get a win on Wisconsin. So you can't really look at that as a tremendous accomplishment. Let's just say we're fortunate. We we we. we we're at least tied for first place in the conference, and we came out of there without any serious injuries. When you come out of a game like that, and again, I talked to you after the game, what really do you get at? Where do you go to look to do some work, get some things done? Well, the first thing you do is uh, you'll go through there and, and um, point out the things that would have really cost you a game had it been a close game. Uh, the fumbles, the bad plays, the offside. Um, uh, the tight end running by our cornerback, uh, those things will beat you in a close game. So uh, we'll emphasize those things as much as possible. But we're going to go through that film in a real hurry and then get started on Michigan State because that's going to be a very big game. One of the things you also talked about uh, last week and over the first three weeks of the season was that you wanted to see your defensive imp defense improve. I think they did improve, but again, it's hard to judge by this game. It's hard game. to judge because of the caliber of the offense they played against. However, they did shut uh, Wisconsin down and would have shut them out if we'd have left them in there. And they had trouble crossing our 50 there in the first half. And that was the key because they, they didn't have a strong kicking game. And we ended up with field position every time we stopped them in their territory and forced a punt. How long you've said that you've had a pretty solid offense you think you could count on. And I think that proved it uh, Saturday against Wisconsin. You got a pretty good offense. Yeah, let's find out if we can score <laughs> points when it really counts, Jim. That's, that's uh, going to come up in the next three weeks. We'll find out exactly where <laughs> we stand. The key to the offense, of course, in any football season, in any football game, is the big guys up front don't go away. We've got to look at two of Michigan's best. That's next when Michigan Replay continues. You know, we're playing uh, good, solid football. You know, we're making a few mistakes, but uh, as an overall pitch, you know, we're, we're playing pretty solid, and uh, things are working out uh, well for us. We uh, came out, did the things that we wanted to do today, ran the ball effectively, threw the ball effectively, and, uh, you know, I think if we do that, you know, you know we, can, we can put some points on the board like we did today.